G'day, I'm Nick Bowditch. Um, thank you for tuning in to my live broadcast this morning. Um, in this, uh, this broadcast, I just want to talk about how I intend to outlive my life. So, not how, uh, how you should do it or how you know, people should do it or how politicians should do it or anything else. But when I'm thinking about my legacy and things that I want to leave behind for my kids and for people who you know, are interested in me and my stuff and my contribution to the planet, I think a lot about this being, especially lately, you know, not that I'm dying or anything, because I'm not, but um, just, you know, undergoing a lot of sort of change and concentrating on a lot of personal development and personal change. And, and this comes up again and again, you know, how, what sort of, uh, what sort of stamp I want to leave on earth, you know, what sort of legacy I want to create. And the thing that I really want to do is just outlive my life. I want to be um, you know, something, I, I want to leave behind something much greater than myself. Um, and, and even if that's four beautiful, healthy, you know, sane children, then, I, then that's already winning, right? But um, these are the things that I think about and these are the things that I'm sort of concentrating on to make sure that I do outlive my life and create a purposeful legacy, um, you know, when I'm gone. And that just might mean even just when I retire from work or when I stop making these sort of um, broadcasts or stop creating content or stop doing shows or whatever it is. Um, that's where my legacy will kick in. So the first thing that I think about is that I want to purposefully engineer my legacy. And when I say that, I don't mean I want to create bullshit that's not true or I want to, uh, you know, um, I want to create this facade or this brand and I sit behind it and be something completely different. Moreover, I mean by purpose, purposefully creating my legacy, I'm trying to purposely create a better life for myself, you know, to be a better version of myself, to be, um, you know, uh, more in tune with the, the stuff around me that's actually going to be uh, contributing something good as opposed to contributing something negative or hurtful or destructive or, or whatever it might be, which, is, which has been my life, you know, a lot up until this point. So that's the first thing, I want to purposefully engineer something, not just have it accidentally. I want to create a legacy that I'm proud of, not, not just have something that's you know, an accidental legacy that I leave, whether it be positive or negative, I want to have a hand in it, right? The second thing is, I want to be the best version of myself. Now, I purposely don't tell myself, or, or, or tell, tell you in these broadcasts, you know, I want to be good. Because truthfully, the majority of my life, I haven't been good and I'm not good and some, some, you know, sometimes I'm mostly good. Um, in some weeks and months, I am mostly not good. So I don't want to be that hypocritical douchebag that gets on these things and says, this is how you should be. You know, you've got to be good because, you know, I, I, I'm just not. I'm trying to be. I try to be every day. But really what I'm trying to do is trying to be the best version of myself. I'm trying to be as self-aware as I possibly can too. That self-awareness is, is what tells me, uh, look, you know, you're trying to be better version of yourself, but actually you're doing the same old shit. You know, the little monkey that's on its bike in my head, sometimes he's pedaling away like mad and driving everyone else crazy and being destructive and being a dick. And then sometimes he gets off his bike and, and lets me be a much better version of myself. And I'm, I need to be more self-aware, right? Because I think even people who are, you know, potentially not in alignment with my own philosophies and my own truths, you know, they, they're still self-aware to a certain degree. I, I, you know, I think of people like Tony Abbott or Donald Trump or um, fans of Sydney Roosters or whoever who, you know, I, they think they're doing the right thing. They, uh, in their sense of self-awareness, they're creating a legacy which they're going to be proud of, which represents their own values and is in alignment with their own shit. That's not in alignment with mine, but it doesn't mean it's any more or less valuable or more or less legacy creating or, you know, more and less, more or less constructive or deconstructive. So I, I need to be more self-aware, right? Because then I can be a much better version of myself. If I'm not self-aware, then I, I, I don't even know the areas in which I need to improve, right? So that's the same thing. The third thing is, the legacy has to be, has to reflect the truth now. 
My legacy in the future has to create, has to reflect the present truth. I don't want to be somebody who leaves a mark that is not true. There's somebody looks at looks at anything that I've produced, be it human or, or, or work content productions, um, and and thinks, oh God, that guy was a good guy, or that guy was this, or that guy was that. And in truth, I'm not. I want the legacy, the stuff that outlives me, to reflect the stuff that I'm doing right now, today, every single day. My legacy has to reflect my present truth. Some days, I feel like that it will. Some days, I feel like I'm not doing that at all. I feel like I'm building a brand that's, that's you know, plastic and bullshit and, and whatever, because underneath it, what I'm doing today or what I did yesterday or what I did last night or whatever is not great. It's not reflective of, of that truth. So I'm, I'm working on that, right? And, you know, I, I really just think if I can, if I can be self-aware, if I can learn the stuff about me that people don't like, the stuff that, about me that's hurtful to other people, then I can purposefully engineer my, create, my, my legacy by creating a better present truth today. And that's what I'm contributing a lot of my time and effort on. Um, one, of the, one of the best quotes I, I think I've, I've, you know I'm a quote guy, right? But one of the best quotes ever is a John Alston quote that says, the only thing you leave, the only thing you take with you when you're gone is what you leave behind. And, you know, I'm just trying to make that as truthful and reflective and self-aware and constructive and kind as it can possibly be. So, I want to know what your legacy is going to be. I want to know what, what, how you're going to outlive your life. I would love to know this stuff. So, in the comments below, please leave that. If, you know, if you're doing something that's, that's really great or really powerful and, and it's going to outlive your life, I'd love to know that. If you're struggling like me, and sometimes those don't think, two things don't necessarily reflect each other or add up, I'd love to know that too if you gave it up. Um, and I really hope that you can find your kindness today and spend some of that kindness on yourself. If you think that somebody else might uh, enjoy this video or get something out of it too, please click on share and share it. I would love that. Um, but otherwise, have a great Monday wherever you are in the world. Um, I hope you find your kindness. Have a great day. See ya.